prayer. I'm going to start this way today. First of all, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Today is January the 9th, 2020. It's a beautiful day. And the temperature now is about 39 degrees in zone 6. Um, 6, 6B, 6. I think I, I think I just recently learned that I am in zone 6B. I don't know if the map changed. I don't know. But, um, so Mama J's is in, Mama J's Country Gardening is in zone 6B. Okay, so I'm going to tell you that. Let me share this with you. Um, today is the eve of my my mother's birthday. She would have been on January the 10th, 2020, which is tomorrow, 83 years old. At the end of this video, I'm going to post a picture of my mom. And I just want to say... Happy birthday to anyone out there who is um, celebrating a birthday in the month of January. So, happy birthday to all of the viewers uh, for Mama J's Country Gardening who were blessed with a birth date in the month of January. Okay? We got a lot going on today. You know, we got a lot going on. We're going we're gonna to talk a little bit about gardening. Some things you need to be getting ready for. Um, now it's the time to order. Some seed companies have uh, have been uh, their website has been exploding with um, orders. It's okay. Don't take that negative. It's just a sign of the times for where we are. If you think 2020 was um, a big year for gardening, then you have not seen nothing yet. For 2021 so remain excited don't be dis disheartened just 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 place your orders okay and there's many 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 different places for which you can acquire seeds um, some places you can acquire seeds and supplies some places you can acquire seeds, supplies, and tools, okay? So, sky's the limit, all right? Um, thank you, thank you, thank you for uh, joining me today in Mama J's Country Gardening. I'm very excited. I'm always excited when it's time to um, uh, create a video. I love talking. And, and you about know that about me by now. But what I'm bringing you is all good. And always coming from a good place with much love and respect. So, again, for all those who are returning viewers uh, to my channel, I want to say welcome I'm back. And thank you so very much for taking some time again to... Um, support my video as well as to um, acquire the information for which I have for you, okay? It's all good, all right? It's all good. I know you know that already. But those people who are new viewers to Mama J's Country Gardening, I want to say I hope that you will uh, gather as much information as you possibly can, get a taste of what I'm bringing you, and then go do your own research as well. It's okay, okay? There's a couple things I always say. Number one, it all starts with a seed. It all starts with a seed. Number two, ask 100 people about gardening. How to's. And you will receive a hundred different answers. But from that, you gather your way of doing things, okay? And see what works for you. And don't forget to explore. There's something else I don't want you to forget to do. 
and you please give Melma Gay's Country Gardening a mighty thumbs up. Can you please, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, bing, just so you never, ever miss any of the content for what you're bringing. Whoa, I'm excited. Um, my camera lady said to me, hey, mom, do you realize how many videos you made today? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so Mama J counts them every day like the number changes every day anyway. So we have 12 videos already out there. And, and you know what? You can look at them over and over again. You can look and see what it is you're trying to pull out of it that you're working on at that time. Um, maybe there's a recipe. Maybe it's something you want to add to a recipe of yours. It could be in the gardening, how to. could be the scripture. Okay? And I have scripture for you. Oh, I got scripture for you. So, today is January the 9th, 2020. And what are we going to do? Well, Excuse me. Camera lady is correcting me. I'm locked in time. Ho oh, ho. Excuse me. This is January the 9th, 2021. 2021. I must write that 100 times. 2021. Remember having to do that in school when it's something that you just didn't get quite right? <laughs> Could have been behavior. <laughs> Could have been you didn't do something right. Maybe you chewed gum in class. I don't know what you did. But you have to practice your handwriting. Write it 100 times, 500 times. Do they even do that anymore? Anyway, okay, this is 2021. Thank you, Camera Lady. Camera Lady loves sitting behind her new uh, stand for which piece of refuge gave her for a holiday gift. And she can do whatever she want to do with her hands. Like make corrections to me. I'm just saying. We're so excited about that that uh, tripod that she has. So, let's get started. What are we doing today, Mama J? Well, we're going to talk a little bit about gardening. First, we're going to bring the scripture. Then we're going to take it to Mama J's country kitchen for which we're going to make lasagna. Mm -hmm. We're going to make lasagna. Okay? All right. Here we go. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. <laughs> oh, yeah. A quote from the Bible. Forget none of his benefits. And that's coming from Psalms chapter 103, verse 2. We serve a faithful God. Now, I have another scripture for you. It's from Galatians chapter 6, verse 10. It's from the New International Version of the Bible. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially to those who belong to the family of believers. Thank you, Lord. So I brought you scripture today from Psalms 103 verse 2. And I brought you scripture today from Galatians chapter 6, verse 10. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. So we're making lasagna today. And we're going to talk about lasagna in a few minutes. But I got to tell you something. I have some of my catalogs out here today. Okay. Just a few. Just a few. As I shared with you. Some of the uh, gardening channels, excuse me, gar uh, seed companies have 
already just started to temporarily shut down their website so that they can catch up with all the orders that have been coming in um, since already the first of the year, okay? Since between Christmas and the first of the year. And there's nothing wrong with that because what you can continue to do is keep visiting those websites. You can also go to other websites. I like exploring myself, okay? I like exploring. And um, one of the things I want to ask you to do, please, is begin to prepare for um, um, setting up your, your, your C trays, okay? Your C trays. If you wish to do that, okay? This just gives you a little jump start. Now, for zone six, phone, zone six B, zone six, the uh, last frost date, the end of this uh, last frost date, is supposed to be the period dates between April the 15th and May the 1st. So for me, I would count back six to eight weeks for the earliest time that I can begin to plant seeds in a seed tray, okay, to pot my seeds. And I'm thinking I'm going to do that in, um, I think I'm going to do that in early March, okay. I'm going to use uh, my greenhouse area. I'm going to use the basement um, in order to um, set up my, my seed. So, what do you need? Well, it's still a little chilly then. And seeds like peppers, um, peas, um, tomatoes, Okay, um, okra, and I can go on. They need, those particular ones, they need um, a lot of warmth. They, they require a lot of warmth. They like 85 degrees. They like 90 degrees. And in zone 6B, 6, where I am, and I keep using it alternately like that because I'm, I'm still trying to get comfortable with what was most recently identified now with our zone, okay? And um, so, they need a lot of heat, okay? Today, it is 39 degrees in my area. It's not 75. It's not 80, it's 39, just shy of 40. So it's too chilly. But it doesn't stop me from preparing for the spring. Actually, it's a very good time to prepare for the spring. I have seeds, I showed you that. And I'm still ordering seeds. I'm waiting for my sugar cane seeds to come in. They should be parting the door any day. And there's plenty more. Okay, and I like adding on, as I told you before, and just, just add some variety to your life. Okay, just add some variety to your life. One of the things I'm going to talk about and, and use a whole video time for it is okra. I'm going to bring you a whole video on okra in the future. Oh, I hear too many people say... Oh, I hate okra. It's real slimy, and it's I don't like the way it feels in my mouth. I'm going to tell you something. I hope you will retest your tongue with okra. It's a, it's a, it's a very healthy uh, vegetable. Lots you can do with it. And, you know, you don't have to have that slimy taste in your mouth, okay? It can actually feel like a green bean, if I may um, 
just give you a little bit of thought. So we're going to do a whole program one day on okra. I, I, I really want to bring that to you. But today I'm going to specifically talk about things I'd like for you to begin to get. Okay. So not all seed companies have an area in their catalog or on their websites uh, for tools and supplies. Okay. But I have some out with me right now, and I'm going to begin with um, Haas Tools. Okay, they don't have uh, catalogs; they stop producing them because they, they, you know, they're always adding new stuff to their site. But there is um, that that website, HaasTools.com. You can go on their website and um, just look around. Just look around. They have tools. They have fertilizer. They have um, um, uh, soil, okay, that you can use to start up your trays um, uh, called black gold, I think it's called. And a number of them are, are, are I'm seeing black gold. And, 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 and the reason for that is there is a um, startup soil that um and by startup it has vermiculite in it it has peat moss in it it has the nutrients in it to get your plant started okay so anyway um there is a soil that i was using a lot and i'm sure i can probably get it from some vendors now still called pro mix and for a number of the companies now who are in the seed uh, business, it seems like ProMix is not becoming so available, and I, I don't understand it. There was a video that uh, Hospitals Row by Row Gardening did on this about maybe three months ago, okay, in the late fall. Um, that is it's not becoming so available. And then let me just let you know that Mama J's Country Gardening is not supported in any kind of way okay by any of these companies for which i'm talking about i'm just bringing you the information as i know it and um just give you an opportunity to just get some ideas of things that you need to do for your garden that's all there's many different places you can shop okay so um black gold so black gold is in everybody's catalog i've noticed and but at my uh nursery um, uh, a nursery that I like going to is called Prime X. I, I really like it a lot there, and so it's it's in it's in it's in Pennsylvania. But um, I like going there. Okay, but they have Pro Max Pro Mix. Whether they will continue to be able to provide it, I don't know. But I'm in there often, and I'm still seeing it. So might not be so available. Probably we wouldn't be getting to the spring. I don't know, but Pro Mix Black Gold, I understand it's, it has the same formula, okay? All right, so what do you need right now? Well, I bought some catalogs with me to give you an idea. Uh, oh, I told you on Haas Tools that you can provide, you can order tools. Look at your tool supply. Check it out. See if you need to add something else to it, okay? It's always something. Um... Maybe you need a pitchfork. I just most recently got a pitchfork. Um, maybe you need uh, additional cells for your for your uh, seed tray. I don't know. Or maybe you need to order some seed trays. Maybe you need a um, grow light or grow lamp or a whole um, stand for your grow light. Okay. So I do know that territorial territorial seed company has in their catalog um i i located it in here okay yep they have they have tools 
They have tools in their catalog. As you can see there. Hope you got that. Um, whole slew of information in here. Okay. I'll come back to that. Haas Tools has startup trays and the stands and the grow lights. Okay. Go on there and check it out. Burby Seed Company. In their catalog, they show. I want to leave this page. They show supplies that you can be purchasing and ordering from them online. So many of them now have um, specials they're running. You spend a certain amount of money, they're, they're offering free shipping. Okay, here's one that, that shows the stand that I was talking about. Can you see that camera lady? Okay, the stands on there. Um, yeah, so that's some, that's, that's some of them, but like I said, explore, all right, explore. So you need a heat mat for, for these catalogs and so many others, including Hot Tools. Um, there's another company that I'm waiting for a catalog from called, um, Journey, G-U-R-N-E-Y, and I'll, I'll show you that one when I receive it. Um, it's a free catalog. So you need a, a, a heat map, okay? The grow light. Um, why don't you just go ahead on out and, and buy the, um, the meter for where you can test your soil. It's a little hard right now probably to stick into, but real soon enough, you'll be able to use it. Uh, checking your acidity and pH balance levels. Um, so anyway, invest in one of those, okay? And, 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 and invest in one of those. Um, you know, it's not too early, not too soon to start thinking about those predators that's going to start visiting you soon enough. <laughs> and I think spring is on its way because I saw a lantern fly that was... Um, expired <laughs> laying on, on on the steps out, out in front of our home and i'm like oh wow oh well, spring is on its way you see one of those who i don't know where it came from um but now i'll tell you about lantern flies too on a different video okay i gotta make note of these things i'm trying to tell you you better hit that subscribe bell okay you better hit that subscribe bell so you can stay up on what's coming your way i'm just saying i'm just saying okay so, there's a lot to do now. Purchase your fertilizer, okay? You know you're going to need it. Purchase your fertilizer. Purchase your, your, I told you about your predator stuff, okay? I'll tell you a little story and we'll talk about it another day. But, you know, I started seeing squirrels, you know, very smart, in, 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 towards the end of the summer. Well, they've been watching, apparently, my corn grow. Yeah, okay? <laughs> so they just decided they're going to snatch them some ears and sit on top of my fence and eat it. I'm washing dishes and I look out the window and there's a squirrel having a friend over for a picnic with my sweet corn. A whole ear each. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm having flashbacks. So there's squirrel repellent. It doesn't kill them. Hello, animal levels, levels out there. What it does is say, shoo, shoo, you know, go somewhere else with that. So you spray and cover your yard with that so they can go away, okay? Just go somewhere else. Go somewhere else. Go in the park somewhere, you know. Go dig up those nuts that you thought you put out before. I don't know. You didn't leave any nuts in my yard. I'm just saying. So, anyway, back to this. Prepare for that. Look at your, start thinking about your pollinators, Okay, what you're going to plant for pollinators. And in this uh, catalog called Select Seeds, they are loaded with over 700 seeds and plants online. Now, I didn't make that up. It says it right here on the back of their catalog. Okay. 
Now, as much as bees can, you know, sometimes not be so welcomed, they actually are your friend. They should be welcome. So think about flowers. Um, you know, think about what you want to grow in order to bring the bees in. Come on in so they can pollinate your, your garden, okay? I have about four loyal ones. And uh, whenever they come around and my, my uh, camera lady uh, and my grandson says, Oh, this is your time. You got that. I'll, I'll see you another day because I'm going on in. I see you want to do your work because they're going in and out of those flowers, going in and out of those fruits and pollinating them. And I want them to come. Hey, B, come on over here, you know. Anyway, so think about what pollinators you're going to grow, all right? All right, and then add some beauty with those pollinators, okay? You know, add some color. Add some color. All right, so um, in Territorial Seed Company, um, I haven't heard that they're having any concerns where they're overloaded or anything like that. Um, you can you can still order. One of the things I have to get is a new um, a replacement greenhouse cover, and they, and they have that here in this book. But that's just me. But look at that greenhouse. I mean, you might not have a yard for a great big giant one, but you know, there's 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 some that you can buy that's that don't take up a lot of space and will still give you the care that your plants need. Okay, so think about that. Um, soil tester, that's in there. Okay. So anyway, I'm I'm just trying to get you all stay to stay geared up. Bone meal, blood meal, Epsom salt, soil, soil, compost, compost, cow manure or horse manure. Or rabbit poop I don't know what you want to use but you need to get that okay just have it all ready for you you don't have to run around like a chicken with your head cut off no offense to anyone just take your time and shop okay and get those orders in and you don't have to be worried when they don't drop at your door when you really need them to be in your house okay um, and so this one was burpee that I told you about. All right. So I got to tell you something. I keep trying to tell you that I'm going to grow all sorts of okra. I'm going to grow all sorts of tomatoes. I'm going to grow all sorts of green beans. I'm going to grow all sorts of, oh, I'm going to grow a lot in the space that I have in my garden. I don't have a farm. Okay, I don't have 20 acres and a mule. I don't have that. But I'm going to work with what I do have. And you will be surprised at how much you can grow in what you might think is limited space. Okay, now I recently learned, and I'm going to leave this upon you. You can look into it. I recently, maybe about a couple months ago, learned about something called loofah. I'm like, what is a loofah? Now, I saw a video, and I, I like these people a lot. It's called Homestead Heart. Beautiful couple. Check out their, their YouTube channel sometime, okay? Um, and they grew loofah. And I'm like, loofah? Huh. So anyway, loofah is something you can grow as a vegetable, but it is is also it let it stay on the vine long enough and it's a sponge yeah, it's a sponge and you can clean your house and everything with it almost like almost like rough like a scrub brush yeah well guess what i most recently learned there is an okra called chinese okra mm -hmm. chinese okra and i actually saw it in my uh 
local Asian Mart. Yeah, yeah. It's called a Chinese ochre. And it is a new item that's on Haas Tools website. Just add it. Just add it. Okay? Chinese okra is an heirloom, multi-purpose variety that can be used as an okra substitute when harvested young or for making sponges and other household items if it's allowed to dry on the vine. It's a loofah. <laughs> anyway, just giving you some thought. So, how about we wrap this part up? Wash my hands and get ready to make lasagna. Stay tuned. Okay, so we're in Mama J's country kitchen. Here's my chicken. Here's my chicken. Okay. All right. So, I have a niece. Love her dearly. Her name is Dion. Dion loves Mama J's lasagna. She lives pretty far, actually closer to where the mountains are in Pennsylvania. I'm just saying, seemed like it to me anyway. Beautiful, beautiful area. And so whenever she comes um, our way and, 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 um, she always gives me a call or a text. Hey, Auntie, I love you. I'm coming your way. Can you please make my favorite dish? Okay. Now I know what that is, so I still ask the question, well, what is that? And she says, would you make me some, make me a tray of, uh, vegetable lasagna. I said, okay, all right, I'll be glad to. So, anytime that is the case, my younger daughter, Arielle, would say, hey, mom, what's that you're doing? You're making lasagna? Can you please make a tray for us? Yes, I always do, but she always asks just to be sure that I make sure that I include that when I'm putting it all together, okay? Okay, so, so there's many different ways to make lasagna. Can I tell you that the very first time I had lasagna, and it wasn't something I grew up on, wasn't something I grew up on. So I, I had told you one time before about my longtime friend, for uh, probably better than 50 years, Rhody, another name I call her is Diane, who gave me this spoon set. I told you about that, holiday gift. And she married, um, and, and, and I've always been in, in her husband and her life together, and in her life before her husband came in her life. At any rate, she made one night, lasagna. Okay. Oh my whole goodness. First of all, it was the very first time I'd ever eaten lasagna. And you know, they, you know, and growing up, they said, oh, that's an Italian food, you know. Oh, okay. Because I saw it on the TV commercials, but I'd never had it. How about we live in these United States and we're pretty blessed about that? That the sky is the limit for what you can have, in regards of what your nationality is, okay? In regards to that, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I haven't sat down and done any research on where lasagna really came from. But I'm just saying that's what the commercial used to be back in my younger days. So, I'm making lasagna. And there's so many different ways to make lasagna. You can add meat. You don't have to have meat. You can have vegetables, or you can just have it as cheese, okay? You know, you can you can have it with herbs and vegetables, or you can just have it with herbs, okay? I am going to make 
lasagna for my niece, okay? And you may recall the video that I did on my homemade pasta sauce, okay? This is one of the ones I had on my shelf. So I'm canning, okay? So I'm going to make lasagna and um, the pasta sauce is going to be that Mama J uh, created, okay? Um, I have garlic that I chopped up. I've done all my pre-prepping work thanks to my grandson, okay? And so there's um, chopped garlic there. That's um, a small whole head of garlic in here. Remember, I'm making a tray for home and for my niece, okay? Remember, I like flavor, okay? A stick of butter. And actually, I'm probably going to need a second stick of butter, but I just only took one out for this whole setup, okay? But a stick of butter. I have here four chopped scallions. And my little dish. I love these little dishes. My younger daughter bought these for me. She found them at a, um, a secondhand store. Yeah, good stuff. Anyway, I love these. There you go. And, oh, by the way, these scallions are from my garden. Okay, this is from my garden. The garlic is from my farm. Maker Acres. Maple Acres Farm. Okay, and um, this is basil, chopped basil here from my greenhouse, and I'm growing these in my greenhouse because it's too cold for basil outside, so there's, and um, that's about four leaves here, chopped up. Carrots, um, this is... Four, yeah, four carrots, and we shredded them using my shredder. This this area right here, we shredded them with that. There's my carrots. All right, and and these carrots came from the farm. My carrots are still growing out there. Two eggs. These are brown eggs, and these came from um, the local market, okay? We have, I'm not going to tell you about the vegetables yet. I have a cup of milk. And I need this large bowl for bringing everything together. Ricotta cheese, and you can use a large one or you can use a small one, but this one is with whole milk, it's 15 ounces. Panko seasoning, seasoned uh, breadcrumbs. I like seasoned breadcrumbs. You don't have to, and you don't have to put breadcrumbs in your, your lasagna if you don't wish, but this is me making it. And you remember, you play with your food and make it your way. So this, that. This is onion powder, seasoned to your taste. You don't need much salt, just a little bit of salt, just so you don't blend all the flavors together. So I would just only say maybe a teaspoon of salt. We don't take any lot of salt at all, and close to none in our home. This is about to run out, but this is uh, Parmesan Romano cheese. And, and, and I have more here. This is about to run out. I've fallen in love with this garlic because it gives a combination of black pepper and garlic. It's called black garlic. And I have I need more of it actually. Okay. Um lasagna noodle. This particular one is no boil. You just lay it down and put your your um, cheese on top and then it cooks and 
you know, expands it while it's in the oven. And my oven is preheated right now on 350. Some people cook theirs at 400 degrees. I like 350. Let's take this time. I'm using bag cheese today, mozzarella, shredded cheese. And uh, Mexican style cheddar jack cheese. It has it has um, a couple different blends in here, yellow as well as um, white cheese in here. Okay, so, up to you. And two trays. Okay. Oh, and so I'm going to saute my vegetables using. Garlic flavored olive oil. Okay, I'm gonna put that on the pan. Saute my vegetables, saute your carrots, saute, saute, saute in this fry pan. But I'm gonna use garlic flavored olive oil. Okay, now what do I have here? Well, I can make a vegetable, um, I can make a vegetable lasagna using any vegetable. All right, I, I can use a whole bunch of vegetables. I can use only a little bit of vegetable, but I'm using these vegetables today. Okay, so I have chopped kale here from my garden. This is the purple Russian kale from our garden. I washed and chopped them up. Okay, I have broccoli. For which is coming it's from our garden for which I harvested out here and I had frozen them as I harvest I froze them and then I, I, I washed them and chopped it up so here's broccoli I have yellow bell peppers and I purchased these from the farm uh, right here chopped it up that's a whole bell pepper. Uh, this is asparagus. I'm not growing asparagus, but I purchased asparagus from my local farm. Okay. I have here curly parsley. That is from my garden. And parsley actually can can tolerate cold. Uh, temperature from frost. And this is from outside. Washed and chopped. Everything's washed and chopped. And then I have cilantro growing from my garden. Okay? This is going to be a really healthy lasagna. Okay? So I'm going to get started. And don't laugh at me, but I'm going to tell you what Mama J always says. And I'm not going to do a lot of talking. I'm just going to start doing the doggone thing, okay? So, camera lady can give us some moves. Whoa, yes. Okay, whew, one sec. Anyway, nothing like a little bit of aerobics music. I'm going to get this thing going. I'm going to place it in the oven. It'll take about, after I finish mixing everything up and sauteing, when it's time to go in the oven, I'll put foil cover over it, let it do its thing. It takes about, give it 45 minutes to an hour, okay? And then let it sit for a little bit, and then just dig in. By that time, my niece should be here to pick it up, all right? Don't rush this. Don't rush it. Take your time. Feel good about it. Feel every bit of what you're doing, okay? Make yourself happy preparing something for someone that you care about, okay? And the scripture referred to that. Yeah, yeah, her family and family of believers, okay? And she's a believer. Thank God for saving her and thank God for saving my family. So, let's get started. I'm going to wash my hands.
That's going to be about a quarter teaspoon, okay? Or a teaspoon, I'm going to call it a teaspoon. I'm going to add one the black garlic now. All my flavor right in here. Okay. I'm going to add the onion powder now. And just a tad more of the uh, garlic olive oil. Just so that I can cook this up some more. And then stir it in together. Fresh olive oil, and my pan is still hot. Okay, I'm going to add my herbs, my scallions, and my garlic. Garlic being first. Garlic cooks very quick. All of these actually just want to cook quick. I'm putting this in here again. right or wrong way of doing this. Let's see what makes you happy. The important thing is getting it done. Okay. Now I'm going to add my parsley and my cilantro. And that's all in here. Did I forget anything? Nope. for the cooking. On top of the stove. So I'm going to spray the pan with extra virgin coconut oil. You can use Pam or any of the other um, non-stick sprays. I'm using this one. Okay. Zero sodium and zero carbs. And I've told you before, Mama Jay's country gardening in her country kitchen believes in healthy stuff. Not that the other stuff is not healthy, it's just the things that we look at. Okay? So I'm going to spray these pans. Stick that out. I'm going to make it easy to be able to get everything out. Ooh, that tastes smell good. It's in my throat. I 
tape. It's coconut. <clears throat> Enough of that. I like this. Okay. Um, let's get ready to put the cheese together. So I'm going to crack these two eggs. Got another bowl on here. I thought I was going to put it in that bowl, but I changed my mind. You can use one egg if you like. I like mine rich. Plus, I'm making two trays. I'm going to put two eggs in. All right. Beat them up. Put my milk in. Just remember this is a cup. That's the end of these. Here. Ricotta cheese. Some people don't like ricotta cheese. We do. So it's up to you. But it's good. Let me open this. Putting this out of there. And I have a spoon. Not this one. I this one. We wanted to take this container right here, make it into a pot, seed up your whatever plant. You can do that. Just put some holes in the bottom. About three or four. Some soil. And this is one of your pots. I have a lot of pots, so I'm not needing this. But I'm just telling you, you can do that. Because we're gardeners. We can make a pot out of seed pot out of anything. Egg crate. Part the eggs come in. You can do that. You find find ways of using some or everything in order to get things started. Okay. Let me stir this in together. Down. You can use any bread cans you like. You can have the seasoned or the unseasoned. I told you before, you know, Mama Day likes um, I like flavor. I'm just coating the pan a little bit with these bread cans. For every bite, you're going to get good stuff. From the bottom to the top, from the top to the bottom. Not bad for this moment. Oh, 
It's the first time this is opening since I sealed it. So, hello, open sesame. And that didn't work. Like this. There you go. You want to taste some of this, camera lady? I do. I'm not sure if I need another jar, but right now I'm going to start with this one. Probably do. Spread that over. Where is my spatula? Here it is. When, this, when I put this in the oven, this will spread out more. I just want to make sure I get in corners to the wrong side. Okay. My younger daughter, she doesn't like a lot of red sauce because actually it doesn't agree with her, her um, skin. She has an allergy to red sauce, but she likes red sauce. So. So she just takes that allergy pill to get her ready for what she's about to have. So this is a no-boil lasagna noodle here. I'm just going to lay them down and press it. Can you see that camera lady? Okay. Just overlay them just a little bit. Might have to move it around a little. Let's see. Okay. Let's get one more up here. Alright, and this side, I already know how it lays out, so. There we go. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you want to make it so it can fit. Maybe get four of them. Some ground. All right. Okay. So now I'm going to put some filling down in here, which is my vegetables. what they asked for. I 
let's see what that do. Let's just see what that does. You got somebody that doesn't want to eat their vegetables? Make a vegetable lasagna. They can't pick it out. They're getting everything that they need in terms of nourishment. Okay, not heavy in carbs. Because how many carbs you got in here for the noodles? And I can tell you, that's it. Okay, so there's uh, for sodium level, pretty close to none. It's uh, 10 milligrams. And for the noodles, you got 42 grams of carbs in here. So Now you have to plan accordingly for your diet. But everything else in here, it's not costing you anything in terms of carbs. Okay, there's vegetables inside the uh, pasta sauce. You probably got another, uh, you probably got another five carbs in that. And so you got everything you need. All you need is a tall glass of water. If you drink, you can get a glass of wine. Or you can give yourself a ginger ale. Nice glass of sugar free zero um, Gatorade. I don't know. Whatever you need to quench your thirst. I like water with my food. We have our meals with water here. Okay. Okay. There we go. All right. Now, where's my scooper? scooper because I'm going to put the ricotta cheese mixture I'm going to pour that on Ooh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. talking about spoiling somebody You say, I love you. See all this I did for you? I made you lasagna. Mm -hmm. I did that for you. Okay. All right. Now, how about... I'm going to now put some Parmesan cheese on here. This is going to be the last of it from in here. You can put this on as heavy or as light as you wish. That's the end of that one. If this lasagna was just for me, I would put red pepper seeds in here. Mm -hmm. Cayenne pepper. But it's not for me. Not just for me. But when I eat my own serving, I always add some crushed peppers in mine. So this is the Parmesan cheese I'm adding. Okay. Okay. I like the flavor. All right, let's introduce the uh, Mexican cheese on here on top of this. We're almost running down home stretch. Okay, then. Mm -hmm. We're making a masterpiece. Oh, yeah, babe. 
Oh, yeah. Put it in there. Okay. Lasagna is a layered food. All different kind of layered foods you can make. And they're hearty. All right. Let's just sit here. Ah, I think I have a more to that. Let's do a little more to that. Oh, isn't it open? Wait. Making me hungry. Can you wash my hands a minute. Okay. Let's put a little bit of mozzarella in the middle here. Now, I'm going to put a little red sauce in here. Let me get ready for the next layer. All right, so we're just going to keep doing this until we finish. And I'll come back when this is all about ready to go in the oven. I'm going to go home and stretch. This will melt and spread. Piece of cheese just dropped in my pet bowl. They love cheese. They're waiting for this lasagna too. No. I'm not going to have this with all that I got in here. There's two packages of cheese. I'm sure I'm gonna lose open. So got all my noodles laid out, just count it out perfectly. And if it didn't count out perfectly, you want to make it work. Make it work. Missy Ellie was said. Okay. Look at there. Look at there. Look at there. Now, I could spread some parsley in there or, you know, some oregano, but this is enough in it. 
for what I'm doing today. So I'm going to put some butter droplets on top. See, I'm going to melt it all into my cheese. This is, is this salted butter? Unsalted butter. Unsalted butter. Okay. I had placed butter in layer number two, second level, uh, off camera. Well, now I'm putting the rest of this butter on top. Push your problem down now. Jesus. So we're going to put some mozzarella on top. Some more mozzarella. Mozzarella, 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 mozzarella. Okay. Well, that's it for cheese. All right. Camera lady, would you do me a favor and pass me the foil? I'm going to put some foil on top here. And then um, put it in the oven. And remember, I have the oven on 350. You can put it on 400 if you want to. I'm putting mine on 350. No right or wrong about it. And I'll leave for about 40 minutes, 45 minutes. If you put it on 400, you only need about 35 minutes. Mine is going to be on 350. Cover it so all that good stuff can cook up all in here together. And then I'm going to... Ooh, this is heavy. That's real heavy. You only need a salad with that. Okay? If you want to... Camera lady and I, we like salad, so we'll have a cross salad with ours. Garden fresh, of course, I'm growing salad out there. Several different, like six different types of salads I have going out there. Green. Chop up some onions. Chop up some tomatoes. A little pepper in there. Maybe we feel like a boiled egg on it. Maybe we don't. Okay. This is going in. Um, would you pass me a couple? Of, yeah. Mittens. Okay, great. Thank you. Camera lady serves a lot of purposes now that she doesn't have to stand there and hold the camera. You showing now. I'm so glad for that. But so we're moving on up. Okay. Sometimes I put a tray underneath. Okay. So that's the wrap. So leave it by lasagna. Lasagna number one. And here is, ooh, very cheesy. Lasagna number two. So, I let it cool off for a little while. And 
We're going to have for dinner. Right here. Just going to cut into it. Very savory. Lost a piece. Here we go. See that camera lady? You guys got that? Look at that. Here's the layer. Top, second, and the bottom. Now we're going to have a little bit. Take all this in too. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. ah. Let me add another piece. This is delicious. Mm, my niece Dion's gonna be very happy with this. All right, Dion, you better come and get your lasagna. Mm, this one over here is a, this one. This one will be Dion's right here. This one could be I. Yep. This is delicious. Ariel's going to be very happy with this. And my grandson Scott, he doesn't do a lot of cheese. Unless it's on pizza. I explain that. But. Uh-huh. Let's see. We'll have this for Saturday night dinner. Which is tonight. And we'll have some for lunch tomorrow. Maybe there'll be some for maybe one person for lunch on Monday. Not so sure. But I can tell you that this is not going to be around so many minutes. Okay? Listen. God bless you. Thank you for joining me for Bible scriptures, gardening talk, and cooking with Mama J's. Country gardening. God bless. Good night.